Shalom, shalom, shalom. Hallelujah. I hope everyone is doing well. I'm good. I got a question. Someone asked me a question last night um, as to whether I thought the protesting in the States was the right way to go. And they sent me a link, a link to an article that was basically asking the same question. It was a religious article, which I didn't read. So I responded to the individual that I thought the right way to go was to repent and turn back to Yah to keep his laws, his commands, and his precepts. And that's how I feel. I'm not being unsympathetic. I was very, uh, not was, I am very bothered. I keep trying to search myself as to really and truly what I was feeling because I couldn't put a, I couldn't put my finger on it. You know, it wasn't too much anger. It wasn't hurt, hurt. It was more a deep, believe it or not, suspicion. I was very suspicious. Very suspicious. It still is. Very concerned for the blacks in the U.S. You know, and the reason I, I've always been very concerned for blacks in the U.S. as a black woman and one who visited and experienced racism firsthand, I always wondered why they stayed. Even years ago when I used to watch the movies about the slavery and Martin Luther King, my thing was, why stay? You know, and I still feel that way. Why stay? And I understand that moving is not that easy. But to try and fight a system and to get people to accept you who saw you as slaves really don't make sense to me. Um, I feel if that's how they saw you, they brought you their slaves, they would always see you as slaves. And that's truly how I feel. And my concern for the blacks in the U.S. more so when I found out that we were Israel, that we are Israel, is that they are in someone else's land. At least our ancestors were dropped off to the islands, whether it was Haiti, Jamaica, the Bahamas, um, Bermuda, wherever. But they are actually in the land of their enemies. You know? And I, I was like, wow. And so my prayer was, Father, if they could only just get up out of there instead of all this constant back and forth and trying to get people to accept you and to love you like you pleading and begging with them. That ain't me. That ain't me. I don't plead and beg when no one to accept me or to love me and I definitely not going to have nobody treat me indifferent because of the color of my skin. That's not me. So, I mean, for me... I am not going to stay nowhere. I'm not wanted or welcome. I remember years ago, I had an experience with my in-laws. And the most I said to me, go where you are celebrated and not where you're tolerated. So, child, I don't go places where I don't feel accepted or appreciated. I can stay right in my home, and I'm good. So, my concern with them is that they don't have no land to go to. At least when you visit, be visit the... America and be coming back to our country, the Bahamas. Where they go? You know? And so I just felt like their state was so... <sighs> so unfortunate. And just sitting there, and I subscribe, I think I said already, maybe not, that a lot of the channels on Facebook, black channels, so I get news as it's happening with the blacks in America. I don't watch mainstream media. So I follow a lot of the black channels to see what's happening. So when this incident with George Floyd happened that night, I got a notice that another black man was killed. And I was like, father again. So that morning, the following morning, early when they were setting up for the protest, when I mean they were just going down there, I got a notice of a live. And I was able to watch the young woman live as she was talking and giving the location of where they were going to, um, have this protest and I was like oh father and my concern was my people amidst everything else that was going on 
to go out there and I'm just like, Father, I just, I, I was like, I don't know. I, I was moving on the path of caution, you know? But everyone have to do what they feel they have to do, you know? But my prayer for my people is that we repent and turn back to Yah. Because I believe that is the only answer to our problems. And so on Facebook, I posted the scripture, um, 2 Chronicles 7 and 7, verse 13 to 14, which is very familiar. Um, it's quoted many times in a Christian church as to what it is that we should do. But this was the most I response to Solomon after Solomon built the temple and he prayed and the father told him this is what I want the people to do and what I've done is that main words I've given the breakdown of what the word means because you know in the English language we only get one word but in the Hebrew it means many other things so it can mean other things so the, it, um, if I shut up and closed all back to his old heaven that there be no rain or if I command to order instruct commission to set in order the locusts to devour eat all burned feed the land or if I send pestilence plagues destruction among my people specifically a tribe as those of Israel if my people, Israel, which are called to cry out, call out, that is to properly address by name, to summons by my name, honor, authority, character, shall humble, bend the knee, and to humiliate, humiliate vanquish, bring down, low, into subjection, humble self, subdue themselves and pray, intercede, plead and seek to search out specifically and worship or prayer to strive after, ask, beg, beseech, desire, inquire my face, my presence and turn to turn back turn around to return come back to cease from evil ways move back to the point of departure from their wicked bad to do evil bad ways be wicked inferior quality unethical and moral activity whether by speech or by practice ways road a course of life or mode journey manner way of life loss lot in life then will i hear attention give attention obey arcing you are saying that you do those things then i am going to give attention to you i'm going to obey you i'm going to ark into you from heaven and will forgive pardon spare their sins their offense habitual sinfulness and will heal men by stitching to cure cause to heal may hold their land the earth so that is what the father said to Solomon that is what he would do if the people will repent come back to him humble themselves if they would pray call out to him then he will come he will give hair he will Give heed, he will obey your cry. And he will heal the earth, heal the land. I don't remember exactly which book it was, but one scripture said that one verse, one writing, that the old earth travail and mourn and groan for the children, waiting for the children of Yah the Most High. And that's us. That's us, Israel, those whose ancestors came in the belly of the ship. The world, the earth, is groaning and travailing for the sons of Yah to take their place. And what we see happening, I believe, is to call our attention, is to get 
us to realize that your situation really and truly not getting any better. It's time to turn to the Father. You know, in America, they have been marching and protesting for years. I saw a plaque where one lady said, I am now 66 and still protesting for this. I mean, years and years they said to do the same thing and expect a different result is insanity. So I want to encourage everyone, everyone with my skin color who watching, and I think everyone was bothered by that, to see that officer's knee on his neck and he posting like he taking a photo, like he just waiting there for a medal. I think most of all that's what bothered me, the way he positioned himself, like nothing is going to happen. Anyone who saw that would have been troubled. And so I was, I am, and I kept saying, Father, Father. And the answer is for Israel to repent and to turn. You know, we look into a system to have mercy on us and to free us and to love us and to accept us. We who are supposed to be the head and not the tail. We who were called to be the light to the world. Israel. And once we take our place, our rightful place, then the Father's going to do the rest. Once we come back to Him in repentance and keeping His law, His precepts, and His commandments, He will do the rest. He will fight. Now, that's not saying that I don't think they should have protested to stand up and express their anger and frustration over what happened. No, but I think the real answer is, if you want a result, is to do it the way of the Father and allow him to fight because he promised to fight for Israel. He promised that he will do that. And I just feel as if that it's time for Israel to wake up and take their place, take our place, you know, I, I'm expressly, I, I'm deeply, ex, I, I mean, especially concerned for the brothers and sisters in the U.S. I know there are many who are waking up and moving and living in communities, but there's still so much more who are not. And I know they mean well. And I know they feel that they're doing the right thing. But your answer is not to the system. Your answer is in your not the system, because you're not going to change that system. And I strongly feel, and I could be very wrong, that that was all planned. There's something just about how that man was kneeling there on his knee. Mm -mm. Kneeling on his neck like that and no people taking pictures um, recording him and he seemed unmoved. So I feel that was a plan to get the same reaction. Because they don't know how we're going to respond and react. You know? And so we got to stop feeding into... Feeding into the, 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 the crazy. Feeding into their plans. You know, we got to do something different. We got to fall on our face before the Father. We have to repent. We have to turn. We have to go back to Him. And so that is my response. That is what I feel should happen. And I just pray that he that has hairs to hear will hear what the Ruah Akadash is saying to Israel. Yah bless us, and may Father Yahweh keep us, and may he hear us when we call. Shalom.